Eight hours. But let's cross over now to Madira, where Kamau Mwangi is standing by. Kamau Mwangi is standing by in Nyeri, actually, I believe. Kamau, good morning. What is the general mood in that area? Well, uh, good morning, Trevor. And uh, we are uh, in the central business district of uh, Nyeri town, uh, not Madera, as you earlier stated. And had it been the 13th of uh, September 2022, when uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, the impeached deputy president, and President William Ruto were headed to Kasarani to uh, take their oaths of office, uh, the town would be abuzz with activity as early as 6 a.m. Now, it is. Uh, uh, a rather different mood around here. Uh, remember, with the happenings in court and the subsequent, uh, uh, or rather pending, uh, uh, swearing in of Kithure Kindiki as the Kenya's third deputy president, uh, residents here are just but uh, disturbed. Remember, most of them, or rather a, a larger percentage of them, uh, were really awaiting the courts to deliver uh, different sort of justice, uh, and this is in regards to uh, rather um, keeping uh, Rigadi Gashagwa in office as Kenya's uh, deputy president. Now, this is a central business district, and uh, as our viewer can see, uh, the pictures right there, the town is uh, quite deserted. Uh, so, uh, these early rises by around 10 a.m. in the morning, no activity as such. Uh, Kenyans here going around about their business as usual. Uh, many of whom are aware that, yes, it is indeed a public holiday, but uh, they would rather go about their daily business without um, setting uh, their eyes on the screens to just and uh, to just follow what is happening at the KICC. Uh, nataka ni zungumze na huyu moja hapa, ndugu kwa majina unaitwa nani? Unaelewa kwamba leo ni kuapishwa kwa kiture kindiki. Uh, maoni yako ni yapi? Asante sana. Kitu ya kwanza mimi naitwa John Mero. Kitu ni kitu ni odaya, mimi ni mkazi wa Kunyeri. Lakini asante sana. Sisi sasa ndio tunapenda. Kitu ya kwanza mimi ni leo unaelewa leo ni kuapishwa kwa kindiki. Najua 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 mkumu najua najua najua. Yeye mambo ilikuwa jana. Sana hii hali imekuja sana, imekuja haraka sana. Naam. Ah asante asante na shukuru. Ah, ah, ah. so uh, Trevor that being one of the residents here eh, wanasema kwamba wanae, wanaelewa kwamba ni siku ya kuapishwa kwa kithure kindiki kama naibu rais uh, watatu wa jamhuri ya Kenya. Sijui bwana Madenge uh, ndakuomba uje hapa ukaribia Kenya Runinga ya Citizen uh, wewe unaelewa kwamba leo ni siku ya kuapisha kithure kindiki. Uh, maoni yako ni yapi kama mkazi wa hapa Nyeri kwa sababu unajua mlikuwa mmetegemea mahakama iwape uh, haki tofauti. Ah mimi naitwa Madenge na nimeamini hiyo maneno tumeamini me penye koti iliamua tuko sawa na tunasema kama ni kidiki afisho sasa tulikuwa tunataka haki itendeke na kama hiyo ndio ilikuwa haki ni sawa kama mimi mkazi wa Nyeli tunaona mambo iko chwali waja kidiki afishwe labda watatenda wata, watachapa kazi wakiwa na, na, na William Ruto si tunagojea wakichapa kazi si tutajua venye tuta tutawapongeza pale mwisho 2027 na, eh, na juzi tuliona kwamba ukituambia kwamba ungeondoka kwa screens mpaka uweze kufuata vile proceedings za rigadhi zinaendelea kule bungeni mahakamani leo pengine utaenda kutizama runinga uangalie kindiki akiapishwa mimi hiyo siku nilisema hivyo kama huyu na siku toka kwa runinga ni ni, ni, ni vuatilia venye mahakamani ilikuwa inaendelea hata leo nitaenda kwa nitaenda nijiangalilie nione venye mambo kama unajua na, na, kuna kuna naweza kuwa ni, na, nilikuwa natarajia legadhi ya awin lakini labda hata hapa ndio tutasaidika wacha tuamini na nitaenda kwa screen niangalie kutoka mwanzo mpaka mwisho kidiki apishwe tuone mambo inaendelea vipi labda ajiko atasaidikia hapo naam haya asante acha nizungumze na huyu genesis ngonjiri bwana uh, bwana genesis leo kindiki anaapishwa kuwa naibu rais wa tatu wa jamhuri ya kenya nyinyi mna hisia zipi kama wakazi wa hapa kaunti ya nyeri mi naitwa Genesis Gojiri. Ile hisia tuko nayo tuliitikia uamuzi wa koti. Hakuna kitu kingine tunaweza itikia na, tu, na kwa sababu kidiki ni wa mlima sisi hatuna tatizo na hiyo maneno. Hata kama vile ilienda hatukua tuna respect hivyo tulikuwa tuna respect ligadhi gashagua ashida hii case. Lakini kwa sababu ilienda hivyo sisi tunaamini tu lakini kile tunasema na tunaambia watu wa Mauti Kenya wahubiri amani. Amani amani amani. Na kidiki labda atafikaria hiyo kiti Serikali ya Dere, barabara ya Maumau imalizike, barabara ya Marua imalizike, hospitali ya Kansa pale Kimadhi ijegwe na imalizike, kiwaje ya Nyalifo ya airport imalizike. Kama hiyo itakuwa maendeleo basi sisi tutakuwa pale nyuma tukipiga makofi. Mm -hmm. Sisi hatuna shida na mtu yeyote. Shida ile tuko nayo na viongozi ni kukosa kutimiza ile ahadi walituambia wakati wa 
kwa siasa mm-hmm. lakini tunaobea kidiki mema tunamwobea awe na wakati mzuri akiingia kwa ofisi serikali yaiendeleza vizuri na tutamwobea tuta, tuta, tuta Mungu amsaidie mambo yote iwe sawa na, na, na Genesis kama ingekuwa ni mwaka 2022 mngekuwa kumko kwenye runinga mnatazama hata mngekuwa town mnatayarisha sherehe eh, za kusherehekea kuapishwa kwa rigadhi gashagwa hii leo ni kindiki anaapishwa je utafuata proceedings pale kwa runinga uangalie kindiki akiapishwa kichukua nafasi ya mtoto wenu rigadhi gashagwa Aa, tutakuwa kwa TV juu hiyo inakuwa ni, 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 ni inakuwa ni tabia yetu kama wakenya kuwa kwa TV tunaangalia vile serikali inaenda lakini hii imepere unajua hii imepelekwa bio bio sasa mimi saa hii niko kwa kasi kutoka hapa mimi sioni kama nitimetoka kwa TV saa hii sioni nikirudi tena kwa sababu saa hii nimeingia kwa kasi nikirudi kwa TV saa hii itapelekea mtoto nini ni lazima kwanza nifanye kasi niingie on, online kwa simu niangalie kidogo kidogo kazi ikuja ninafanya lakini siwezi rudi kwa nyumbani hadi niangalie hii maneno No. Hii maneno sisi tunaomba serikali ipeleke vizuri tuwe na hiyo deputy president mpya na serikali ifanye kazi vizuri. Yes. Ikimaliza kazi hii miaka tatu imebaki ime, ime barabara hiyo hiyo mabaoto nimesema yeah. tutawashagua tena. No. Ile kitu tunataka hii Kenya ni maendeleo sio siasa miji no. maendeleo hakuna kitu kingine. Ah yes, so, eh. now uh, Trevor quite a slow uh, slow but sure change of heart in regards to the happenings in the political sphere an embracement of uh, Kithure Kindiki uh, the third deputy, pre- deputy president of the Republic of Kenya when that time comes and uh, well you've heard them uh, they will embrace them as long or rather embrace him as long as development is coming their way back to you Trevor Thanks Kamau. Kamau Mwangi there speaking to us live from Nyeri and listening to the people there and their views on the other side you can see what's going on at the KICC members of parliament members of-